Hey there viewers, Tanner here, and welcome to surgery day. So here you can see me in the surgery room. My eye is pretty numb right now, and they're about to use that clamp you see to crank it wide open. Because obviously if I had it my way, I'd be slamming my eyelid shut, because I don't want anybody in my eyeball. So they were kind enough to let my friend videotape this. They actually let anybody videotape it, and they're like, hey, you know, we're totally cool with that if you want to tape it. And I think they even said they'd give us, like, a gift card if we sent them the surgery footage or something like that. So, cool. So here you can see him marking my eyeball. I have no idea why. And I don't really know why they do a lot of the things they did during the surgery. They basically just told me to stare at these stare at the center of these five lights above me it's essentially i think it was four orange ones and a single green one which you can sort of see the reflection out of my in my iris there and so i just stare at that the whole time and here you can also see that there's a lot of drops in my eye and here they take a suction device of some sort and you can see them pushing really hard on my eye which is very uncomfortable and then it actually suctions part of your eye up through that center hole and you can see it sort of bulging through right now and as they do that your vision literally goes black and they tell you to tell them when you can't see anything and once you tell them they stick this device on it because you can't see shit and then it cuts your eye open just like that so here, you can see my eye is still suctioned upward and looks terrible, and I have a hole in my, in the top layer of my eyeball. So here he lays this sponge around the area that he cut to sort of catch drops as they roll off, I guess. And you'll see him sort of squeegee it off for like half a second, and then he is just going to take a pick, or like a like a little a little stick of some sort not like a stick he got out of the woods well maybe it is and he just grabs underneath of that flappy cut and pulls it back and there my cornea is completely exposed and you can see how my eye has like no shine to it now so that's what your eye looks like without the top layer that protects your cornea so there it almost looks like he just takes a ballpoint pin and does something to my to the flappy cut. <laughs> I'm assuming that's not what it is, but that is what it looked like. And now you can see him lining up the laser and they just tell you to stare dead center at the center of those lights that are up above you, which is on some sort of device that sort of goes over your head. And there they are, lasering my eye. But the problem is, is they tell you to keep completely still. And you can see my eye moving. And my eye moves. And he immediately yells at you like, hey, keep your eye straight. And I'm like, I swear to God, it looks like those lights are moving. It looks like the lights are moving around. And he told me that it was just because my eye was rolling. It wasn't because the lights were moving. I'm assuming I just had no idea what my eye was actually doing because I... Yeah, you can see I'm like looking way up right there, and he they're already done with the lasering, and he's just sort of cleaning up the cornea, though. But you can see I just have an issue keeping it straight. And there he flips the eye back shut. It's just like pulling up the hood of a car, doing some work, and then closing it back up. And that was literally the whole entire procedure. They actually laser your eye for, I think mine was like 12 seconds or 11 seconds, something like that. And that was per eye worth of lasering. And the rest of the time has just been getting it cleaned up and ready to go. And putting in so many drops that you're just like endlessly burning and pissed off. And there you can see him sort of smoothing out the flap with that. And yeah, the procedure actually wasn't all that bad. It was just extremely uncomfortable. And definitely kind of hurt during the suction part. Like that was... If you couldn't guess, that was the worst part because it literally looks like he's putting like all of his weight on your eyeball and then it's sucking the vision out of you, which is really weird. So at this point, just squeegeeing off any extra drops and sort of smoothing out that flap. And in a second, you're going to get a better view of the whole place. 
And the place that I went to, by the way, to get this done is Stall Vision in Kettering, Ohio. And I worked directly with Dr. Stall. And he was a smart guy. He answered all my questions immediately. He seemed to know exactly what he's doing. Of course, I would expect him to as many of these surgeries as he's done, which also means that he seemed a little bit like, eh, about it. Um, I'll probably give a more comprehensive review of stall vision after, after my vision has a little more time to flatten out. <clears throat> but yeah, the, uh, the procedure was totally cool, except it was a little bit weird because in a second you're going to see the surgery room. And... I was a little bit confused because there appeared to be like a young, probably like preteen girl in here. You can see her sitting there in the white jacket. And for some reason when I was in there, you can also see my cute little booties that I'm wearing there. <laughs> I had to protect my feet. Um, I don't know why she was there. I, I don't know if she was like daughter of Dr. Stahl or something, but regardless, I guess I had a had a middle schooler chilling in my surgery room. So you can see him closing up my eye, and there it just burnt. It burnt so bad, and I just wished I was home <laughs> because the burning was ridiculous. So here is Dr. Stahl just doing a quick look at my eyes, and so is the preteen apparently, and He's just making sure that everything's in place where it needs to be, giving me the quick once, like, you know, telling me what I need to make sure I'm doing. And now we're going to skip to a clip of me after surgery, which is pretty choppy and delusional. So enjoy. All right. So I just got my LASIK done. My eyes are on fire. To say the least. I'm not sure if they dilated them or not, uh, but Jesus Christ. Super sensitive to light, for sure. And just generally uh, painful. <laughs> the procedure was fucking nuts. And I'll talk more about it after, oh geez, I didn't even realize how bad I look right now. Now I can see that. God, it looks like I'm sobbing right now. I gotta tell you, I don't know if this was worth the payment, but I'm, I know for sure that it will be. And I actually can see quite well. My vision's really good. I can see things that I normally couldn't. But that doesn't change the fact that my eyes are killing me. I can't stop looking at myself in the screen either because, oh my God, I look atrocious. I've also got these nice lines all across my face where I've been wearing these goggles. I have a mandatory two hour nap. Hopefully tonight I can actually see well enough to function. Well, not see well enough because I can see fine. It's just keeping my eyes open sucks. So yeah. Ugh. Yeah. So today's been a pretty long ass day to say the least. I got my LASIK done. And as you can tell from the clip that I just showed you a minute ago, I was having a pretty hard time within the first hour to two hours past my surgery. Came home, took my mandatory two hour nap, put in some drops and woke up feeling freaking awesome. My eyes don't even bother me really right now. I mean, they just, they feel fine, which is really ridiculous. Speaking of really ridiculous, my mandatory goggles. Been wearing these the whole first day. I have them off right now, not because I don't want to look stupid, but you can tell from my face that I've had them on all day. I mean, there's the shape of them all the way around my face. Um, the reason I have them off right now is because I've been putting in my eye drops because I'm getting ready to go to bed. It's pretty mind blowing because I can see. I can read everything that I normally couldn't. Almost as though I'm wearing contacts, but I'm not and I'm not in nearly as much discomfort as when I do wear contacts. So, I'm pretty excited.
So the steroid drop kind of sucks because it like makes your eyes really cloudy and uh, as they described it, it's almost as though you have like a milky substance on your eyes and I definitely see what they mean. It's definitely sort of like whitish, especially where it pools at the bottom. But I have to wait five minutes between each drop anyway, so I figure this is a good time to talk before I go to bed. So yeah, coming out of the surgery, I was, I was totally fine, like vision wise, like I could see but only if I could get my eyes open wide enough is the problem. So, and I gotta tell you, that was that was a struggle and a half trying to get my eyes open because not only did they dilate my eyes, I'm pretty sure, so light was super sensitive, but I just had so many tears and so many things shoved into my eye on top of my cornea being exposed that it was really hard to open my eye and actually see what I was doing. So I spent the whole ride home with my eyes closed because it freaking sucked. My eyes are in heaven right now with these drops though. I've been on the computer all night really, um, and it's not a big deal. My surgeon called me and he asked me, hey, how are you doing or whatever, and just checked in on me at around like 10. Really late, I was surprised. And I asked him, I was like, hey, is it okay to just be like on a computer screen for an extended period of time? And he was like, yeah, he was like, I mean, as long as you're blinking frequently, he said the problem is, is a lot of times when you're like playing games or watching something for an extended period of time, you're going to get distracted and you're going to forget to blink. You're not going to blink as much. He said, so just make sure that you're consciously telling yourself blink, blink often. So I've been doing a lot of that and just sort of making sure that I'm actually blinking when I'm supposed to. In about seven hours, I have to be back down there to get my one day checkup or whatever done. It's, it, it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty short checkup and one of my buddies told me he would take me down because I'm still not allowed to drive. I'm not allowed to drive for two days after. Those antibiotic drops just hit me in the back of the throat. That's my least favorite part of doing these drops is the fact that you taste them and they don't taste very good. Oh my God, that's terrible. Still got a little bit of sun kiss left. Overall, after day one, I have to say I am pretty stoked and I'm pretty surprised at how not fucked up I am. I figured I'd be in a lot worse shape than this, but really I'm, I was in really, really bad shape right when I came out of surgery, but now I'm doing all right.